He was robbed, dragged, and run over, and this San Diego flower vendor knocked down, but getting back up with the help of dozens of neighbors. 10 News reporter Emily Thode shows us why he is so inspiring. Emily. Neighbors here in Sarah Mesa tell me that the flower vendor is a fixture here on this corner off Murray Ridge Road, and just five days after he was nearly killed, he was back here at work with a few supporters. Carnations, mixed flowers, and then the roses from there on. All those are five. DJ Music, yeah, his real name. Pretty fresh every day. Back selling flowers. Yeah, we've lived here for about two years, and we see him all the time. He's always selling flowers, and every time I run by, he's smiling. He's just like the nicest person. Nareet Wigdor lives nearby. On Sunday, on Mother's Day, I ran past him. Sometime after Nareet ran by, Two men in a car pulled up to DJ pretending to be customers. And they just wanted two five dollar uh, bouquets, so I was going to give them change. And I went over to the car, and he just like launched at me and grabbed my hand and pulled me into the window, and they just took off. He dragged him about 30 feet. I was down, just like that. I run my hand over my arm. He has road rash. Oh, that one's sore. And a broken finger. I was lucky. So I just started a GoFundMe page, um, and. It blew up and over two days ago, over $2,000 of donations for him. Friday, they surprised DJ. So we wanted to gift you all of the money. Thank you. Um, for everything you've done for us. I mean, it shows here with everyone. Thank you, guys. So yeah! Definitely. I think for me and him, it was very overwhelming. Overcome, I say that. Uh, I didn't think I had a fan club like this at all. He does. No word if the police have made any arrests. In Sarah Mesa, Emily Thode, 10 News. Mm. That changes his life now so that he can recover. The bad guys don't get to win. No, let's hope that somebody finds him. But what a sweet gesture from that neighborhood, too. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm.